Valve has spoken about the possibilities of getting an OLED in the Steam Deck, and sadly, it's not great news. <laughs> And we're going to get into it and talk about what they said in this video. But before we do, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon down below. It really helps out. I post Steam Deck content and gaming content and tech content every day on YouTube. So please support if you can. And also check out our Amazon list of favorite Steam Deck accessories. Um, put a link in the description and the top comment of this video. Everything you possibly need for your Steam Deck. All the goodies, all the cool stuff. Levels that would level up your Steam Deck experience is on that list. So go bookmark it, save it, share it with friends because I'm always adding stuff to it. Anyways... Let's get into it, guys. I'm Blaze to K. So, Valve likes the idea of an OLED Steam Deck too, but they say it isn't as simple as it sounds. Now, we've talked about this again and again and again and again and again, but sadly, we finally hear what Valve has to say. Let's see. So swapping to a new screen is a bigger amount of work than most people assume it would be. So we know that Valve currently sell replacement screens for the Steam Deck, right? On ifixit.com that you can replace yourself. They even give you everything you would need to do the replacement, all right? In a handy little kit. Now you can buy the screen on its own if you already have the accessories for $64.99, or you can pay an extra five bucks and get like the screwdriver, right? Get the screwdriver, get all the little accessories, the tweezers, the, the things for the spudger thing for prying up the screen and everything. Everything just for five bucks more for $69.99. So on account of this, the fact that we could buy parts for the Steam Deck, people were assuming that maybe Valve would allow us just to maybe hot swap an OLED screen in the existing Steam Deck, right? People were hoping that Valve would just release an OLED screen upgrade via iFixit and allow people to buy it and upgrade it themselves. Well, it turns out that's not going to be as easy as it sounds. Um, so the hardware in Valve 2021 Steam Deck can run circles around Nintendo's 2017 Nintendo Switch, but there's been one point of comparison where Nintendo's had the, Nintendo's had the upper hand for the last year, and that is, that is the screen. The Switch OLED model debuted just six months before the Steam Deck, and once you go OLED on a TV, phone, or gaming handheld, it's pretty hard to leave those rich colors and deep blacks behind, and I can attest to that. I, I was a massive, massive critic of the Nintendo Switch OLED. I wanted a Switch Pro at the time. I wanted a newer Switch, more powerful Switch that could play more up-to-date games, and they released the OLED, and I was like, an OLED Switch? Why would anyone buy that? until my wife got one and then I turn it on and it looked absolutely phenomenal. Mind-blowingly phenomenal. I'm very picky. You know, I'm easy to dismiss something like an OLED switch. But when I when I saw it with my own eyes, I was like, I need this. So I traded my switch there there and then with GameStop and upgraded to the Switch OLED. It is so beautiful. Like every screen on the game in handheld needs to be OLED from this point forward, all right? So yeah, once you've tried OLED, it's very hard to go back. And then the Steam Deck came out, obviously, and my Switch OLED hasn't been touched for the most part since I got it, because just the Steam Deck has everything, right? It's got all the new games, it's got emulation, everything like that. So anyways, yeah, Steam... Having an OLED screen on the Steam Deck, to put it bluntly, would be the best thing since sliced bread. Um, the Steam Deck has just passed its one year anniversary, and for the whole year, I've seen one question about the Steam Deck pop up more than any other. When? Is Valve going to make an OLED model, or are they going to make an OLED model? Um, a short, polite answer from Valve's Pierre Loup, Pierre Loup Griffet, um, is that Valve understands the limitations of the current tech that's in the deck in terms of the screen. We also want it to be better, and we're looking at all avenues, he says. But the longer answer is that there's a lot more to swapping out a screen than just swapping out the screen. Um, I think people are looking at things like an in incremental version and assume that it's going to be an easy drop in, your face says. But in reality, the screens at the core, the screens at the core of the device, everything's anchored to it. Basically, everything is architected around everything when you're talking about a device that small. I think it would be a bigger amount of work than people are assuming it would be. I don't think we're discounting anything. They're not discounting it. But the idea that you could just swap in a new screen and be done it would be it would need to be more than that and need to be doable more than that to be doable um when valve was designing the scene deck the flexibility of the lcd panel panel was actually one of its top priorities specifically making the backlight to be able to go in go as dim as possible for playing comfortably in low light and the ability to alter the alter the refresh rate to preserve battery life 
Griffey says that as far as he knows, that should be possible on an OLED too, but it requires some specific configuration. Um, it's just something you have to plan ahead. When we're working on this screen, we made sure that these would be supported. Even if the refresh rate switching wasn't ready at release, it was really important to us that all that would be supported. So it's something that you need to keep in mind when you're evaluating and selecting possible options, but there's nothing about LCD versus OLED, different screen technologies that makes that a deal breaker. It's about how you're designing the whole system, and what's in between the screen and the SOC the system on a chip, um, or the APU, some people call it. I think it's likely that Steam Deck's, that the Steam Deck's eventually successor uses an OLED, but after talking to Graface, I'm not expecting an incremental update from Valve like the Steam OLED. Um, if there are plans for one, Valve's certainly playing it close to the to the, the vest or the chest. Um, in the meantime, Steam Deck owners who miss OLED colors can at least try Vibrant Deck, which is a, a decky plugin that allows you to crank up the saturation and vibrancy of the colors on your Steam Deck, and it gives you the impression that it is kind of like OLED in a little way, but you, you know, you're not getting the nice viewing angles and the brightness and just the deep blacks it's just basically cranking up the the, the saturation right um but it it's a nice little plugin um um that lets you bump up the display saturation without turning your games into full-on lisa frank paintings or you can go absolutely wild with it i'm not the color police but there we go um basically valve are saying that upgrading to an oled screen in the current system or doing an incremental update with an OLED screen is not going to be as easy an easy as a ta as easy a task as people would assume it to be and I kind of figured that um not to say that they won't they're obviously still playing their cards close to their chest and deciding you know how much work do they want to put onto the next screen of the Steam Deck if you've seen the INEO 2 you'll see that it has an amazing amazing screen that you would be Forgiven for thinking it was an OLED, um, go check out the INEO 2 on YouTube. Um, its screens are absolutely phenomenal. There's like no bezel, it's just super vibrant. It looks like an OLED, but it's not an OLED. It's just a really high quality IPS display. So they've got a couple of options. They could just improve the screen itself by, a, you know, give us a screen that's a very high end IPS one, similar to the one that's in the INEO 2. Or they could do a little bit extra work and hopefully maybe try and get an OLED screen in the next incremental Steam Deck update. I really hope they do because OLED, once you've tried OLED, it's hard to go back. And hopefully less bezels. Hopefully they can maybe increase the screen size and cut down on that bezel um, because the bezel kind of significant. That's one thing I like about the, Steam, uh, the Switch OLED as well is the fact that they shrunk down the bezels significantly and that extra screen space just makes a world of difference, especially when you're playing games with small UI elements and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Is OLED one of your most wanted features on the Steam Deck, the future Steam Deck 2 or uh, the Steam Deck Pro or the, the new incremental version of the Steam Deck that we're gonna be seeing in the next in the next 12 months? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Um, ugh, the Steam Deck would be amazing if it had an OLED screen, wouldn't it? Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Blazed, okay? And if you want all the best Steam Deck accessories in one place, go check out our Amazon list. Link in the description and top comment of this video. I'm always adding stuff, so bookmark it, save it, click the follow button, share it with friends, and keep up to date on all, all the goodies that are available for your Steam Deck to level your Steam Deck up. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Oh, also check out bestofdeck.com on our Steam Deck website. I'll see you on there. Have a wonderful day. Like, subscribe and click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content. Bye.